Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Tink. That's M I Z Z N I M I S S. Yes, and we are here to do Power Season Three, Episode Six: The Right Decision. All right, y'all. Before I get in, get into that, it's raining out here again. Definitely want to say special prayer out to the citizens of Houston and also the people in Louisiana and Baton Rouge that was affected by the rain. Hopefully, it's getting better. You already know. Okay, okay. So, just want to say that. All right, let's get into it because I gotta get to work. All right, so first things first, this episode was great. I ain't not see it coming. I ain't not. I did not see it coming, y'all. Yeah, so I'm going to be all over the place, okay? I might go in order. I don't know. We shall see how this goes. So basically, Ghost comes up to Tommy Carl. Tommy is basically an emotional wreck. He cannot sleep up in that damn house knowing he just killed Holly, so he's sleeping in his car. He can't even give Ghost the keys right, okay? He over there dropping the keys. Ghost like, it's going to be okay, man. Let's go ahead and get in here. So now... Ghost and Tommy, you know, they back together. They talking about how they going to kill Lobos. Of course, Tommy is still working with Lobos. So he's like, look, I got to get the drop as far as I know where the point is, where they're going to be planning to rescue him. You need to get an alibi so you can be there. But you also got to see how you're going to get away from Angela, you know. So, of course, that's when Tommy thinks of the brilliant idea of using Bassett Hound, a.k.a. Karen Bassett, hotel or special meeting, whatever, as an alibi to get away from Angela. And he also knew that Angela won't be able to come because... Angela has to work because it's the same day. So, mm, Tasha comes in there and Tasha like, well, what the hell? Where Holly been at? I've been blowing up her phone. What the hell? Then that's when she see Ghost and Tommy together. He's like, oh, well, not he. Y'all know what I mean. She like, oh, y'all back together now. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> and less than overnight, less than 24 hours, y'all cool? Oh, okay. Well, what? what's up? Where the hell is Holly? And that's when Tommy was like, you know, we got something we got to do. And of course, Ghost was like, wait a minute, man. Nah, nah, don't include Tasha. And that's when Ghost was like, what? not Ghost, but Tommy was like, what other choice we got? Tasha's the best one for us. She that down ass bitch. So we need an alibi. So you need to go with the flow. So of course, Ghost agrees and doesn't say anything. And Tasha's like, what the hell is going on? I was like, girl, okay. All right. We're going to see how that goes. Jerry, on the other hand, back at, you know, the FBI people, the little building, whatever, he is either against or for one of the two about um, them transporting Lobos in the military um, truck or whatever because the Jimenez team, the crew, you know, they're a terrorist group. They won't stop. So he's like, ah, I'm against it. But Mike, on the other hand, was like, look, we need to get a small car. We need to get Lobos to D.C., low-key, untraceable. We need to do what it do. And we'll also have a GPS on them so we can track them just in case something happened. At first, it was all cool with that. But Jerry's like, you know what? I need men on the ground, too. So he looks at Knox like, you know what? Go ahead and tell your boys to get ready, Knox, and see what you can do, because we got to make sure this transportation go down like it is. Knox is like, all right, you know, mm-hmm. He turns around or whatever and sees Angela and gives Angela the stare down or whatever. And I'm like, oh, Lord. And, of course, Mike cool with it, too. So he goes ahead, well, not gone ahead, but he is already in formation to make the call to Hugo to get to do what it do, meaning with this rescue stuff. And I was like, Lord Jesus, I guess. Anyways, after that, we see... um. Uh, Dean and Ghost, whatever, talking, whatever. And Mr. Dean, baby, okay. They talking about the shooting, whatever. And Ghost is like, look, I thought I told you not to follow me. But Dean, like, you know what? I I saved you, your son or whatever. Is he okay? He's like, Tyreek didn't know, but still, I saved you. He's like, yeah, I understand that, but I still don't need you following me. You know, respect, you know, their job description. But I'm like, Ghost, he saved you. But, you know, we shall see. Mm-hmm. That's when Bassett Hound comes up the stairs, whatever. They have this little meeting, a little talk. And Ghost basically pitches the idea, talking about, you know, I want the Bassett Hound experience that your hotel and we can have this special meeting meet up with your clients and talk business so Bassett and Hound like oh, okay you serious all right let's do what it do so you know she up for it but I don't trust that Bassett and Hound just like I don't trust Dean I don't trust him mm -hmm. and we're gonna see why I don't trust Dean but Bassett and Hound I don't really trust her mm, let's go ahead and get to some more shit Ghost and Tommy are at um Tasha house eating as always Tommy is all distraught or whatever and Tasha like oh lord and then that's when Tasha brings up the fact that Holly is pregnant because she doesn't know that, of course, Holly ass is dead, okay? She don't know that shit. She think that Tommy and Holly done broke up. She think that, you know, um, maybe Holly told her about the baby, but, of course, the look on Ghost's face is like, you know, she didn't tell him. And so Ghost is all shocked, too, because he didn't know that Tommy, you know, not Tommy, but Holly was pregnant. So he plays it off and says, you know, he didn't really say anything, but, hey, I need him to crash here for the night, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Tasha like, the fuck? Well, uh, where you going, Angela? And that's when uh, the ghost was like, it's for the plan, Tasha. She was like, mm-hmm. And that's when Tasha yelled at ghost, talking about, you leaving me to do the usual shit, ghost, to clean up the mess, a.k.a. Tommy. Because, we you know, Tommy's in mourning. He's in shock. Like, oh, Lord. But I don't blame him. I'll be pissed off, too. Fuck you, ghost. Anyways, 
Ghost is back at the ranch or whatever, packing. Mm-hmm. For Ange uh, you know, packing whatever for the whole little alibi trip or whatever. Angela comes in and like true fashion, Angela had the work. He tells her about the whole meeting with Bassett Hound that he has set up. Says, you know, why don't you come? She says no, like he knew he, uh she would. And then that's when they start talking about their dreams and stuff and talking about if this meeting go well, they could fly around the world. He think if he kills Lobos, like going with the plan that he's set free and they could just worry about living a real life. Whatever. We shall see. Of course, Angela's happy too. You know, she gets all turned on and then that's when they start banging again, of course, on the damn table. My thing is, girl, I would have been mad just a little bit. He ripped my expensive panties. I'm just saying. I understand you could probably pay for him and so can he. But everybody know how that search is when the Victoria's Secret had a sale. Just saying. You know? But And then too, how y'all gonna break the table? Angela, did you go to Walmart and get something on clearance, girl? Did you order it for offline? You know you can make money. Well, you make money. You make more enough money to get you a better deal, girl. Better table than that. Anyways, they bang it out. I was like, okay, I got bored. Whatever. After that, Ghost and Tasha uh, pull up to the beautiful castle. I think I seen this castle in a YouTube video where this lesbian couple got married. I think so. I could be wrong. Tommy, oh, uh, not Tommy. Tasha's all happy. She's like, damn, this is beautiful or whatever. And, of course, Ghost busts the damn bubble. She's like, damn, Ghost. What a way to fuck up my vision. I feel where you come from. Like, damn, Ghost, let me be happy for a second. But, of course, they trying to play cute, play like husband and wife and shit. Typical ass Ghost, I guess. Anyways. After that, we see Tommy's meeting up with the crew. They, um, you know, the crew, the um, Spring Lobos or whatever. They all talking and stuff. Tommy want to go over the damn plan, but he tired of them talking in Spanish. And I'm like, okay, I understand. They, you know, but Hugo goes over the little plan with him. On the other side, or should I say back in um, New York or whatever, Knox and his crew all suiting up. And Lobos' ass is a damn fool. When he came up there and that look he gave Knox, like, I was like, Lobos. <laughs> Lobos is funny as fuck. I like me some Lobos. Lobos be cracking me up. He's all crazy ass. He's a funny ass criminal, okay? He all happy and shit to see Knox and shit gets all up in there. I'm like, Lord Jesus, I can't. I can't deal with it. I just, I can't. Whatever. And also, uh, Mike texts Hugo talking about, you know, it's a go for the plan. So they getting ready for the plan. Tasha chilling in the hotel room or whatever, eating. I don't blame you. I be chilling too. That was a nice room, nice bed. Gets on a robe or whatever because it gets a knock at the door. And Bassett Hound is there. You know, she's like, oh, my husband's in the shower. Would you like for me to tell him, you know, you may. She's like, no, no, no. I'll meet with him later. And then gives her this uh, tray of food. And I don't blame you, girl. I would have took one of them sandwiches too. I really thought that um, James was really in the shower, like getting ready for the plan while Tommy and the crew was setting up. No, the shower was just on. She goes back and I'm thinking they finna, you know, maybe have a little makeup sex because, you know, I love Miss Tasha, Team Tasha all day. But she's like, fuck that. Turns off the shower and went to town on that sandwich. I don't blame you, girl. That shit look good, okay? Chef's special. Anyways, y'all a VIP crew. After that or whatever, um, Lobos and the crew are getting ready for the attack or whatever. Lobos' ass is really flirting his ass off with Knox and shit. His ass gonna go as far as put his damn uh, leg on Knox. Time I can't even massage my calves. Logo, you a damn logo. Lobos, you a damn fool. Knox is playing that shit off or whatever. Still trying to ask questions about ghosts and, and all that. Like, you just so obsessed because we know he butt hurt. And all of a sudden, you know, Tommy and them put some spikes on the damn, um, on the damn ground, messes up the damn tires, of course. The all, whole office back at the damn FBI place is listening and shit, you know what I'm saying? They all shocked because they hear Knox talking about this attack and all of this. So they calling their people trying to get them uh, back up to where Knox and them is. And Knox ass, they having this big ass shootout and shit. Knox ass got shot. The other guy got shot. Lobo's ass was set free. Knox seeing all this shit happen, but his adrenaline pumping because, you know, he hurt. I wonder if he had a bulletproof vest. Then that's when he sees they sprung Lobos. Lobos lose the ankle brace and he running off. And Lobos ass, this is why Lobos is like the comic relief for me when it comes to a criminal. His ass is like, I like the black on black. You look like little ninjas. Lobos, you damn fool. Lobos, yes. I was like, oh my goodness. And then um, Tommy is driving off with Lobos crew or whatever. Lobos crew members speaking Spanish. Tommy got an issue with that or whatever. He was like, you know what? I got to sit up here and get, um, get rid of the eye in the sky, so we got to go somewhere safe. So when they go and eat this bridge, um, Lobos dude is not really feeling it, so he's about to call Hugo. As soon as he gets up to call Hugo, go shoots his ass. And then that's when Lobos looking like, that was odd. I was like. There's a time you roll around talking about you really think that you thought I didn't know that your ass was gonna really kill my ass after this whole little rescue drop? Uh uh. And then that's when, you know what I'm saying, Ghost opens up the door and he was like, Oh Lobos and Lobos like, Oh shit, yeah, Lobos, you fucked. I was like, Lord, let's get to some more shit. 
All right, so back in New York, Angela is texting Ghost or whatever, talking about, you know, first she's gonna let him know what's going on. She's like, nah, I ain't gonna do that because she thinks that he really on business. Okay, girl. Texting him about, you know, how you doing? Did you make it this safe? You know, I miss you and all this stuff. And I'm thinking Ghost is really texting her. No, it's my girl Tasha texting her back. I'm like, Tasha, girl, you good? I wouldn't have had it, girl. You just clearly show why you that bitch. She texting her back, still staying with the plan. She is that bitch that, you know, that bottom bitch. And she's going along with it, but she all pissed off like, damn, bitch, you text so much. And I was like, Lord. Then she calls uh, downstairs to let him know about the shoe shine people for Ghost and shit. Just doing like what it do with the plan or whatever. And then she's going through Ghost stuff and she sees the separation papers and she gets all pissed and i was like oh shit but my thing is ghost why the hell you left those separation papers in your briefcase why you didn't leave them there the hell well maybe again maybe he was trying to present it to tasha to sign i don't know but either way i'm just saying fuck yourself ghost whatever tommy ghost and lobos they all driving somewhere then once they get away or whatever they that's when lobos gets out the car and they getting ready you know of course do what they do first time he goes off on lobos because lobos stay talking shit and stomp the shit out of him or whatever talking about nah that's what he get for fucking with bell we all know how holly loved that damn dog and so did uh tommy then that's when they um take him somewhere or whatever and of course lobos talking all this cash money shit brings up angela and that's when um no killing angela Angela. And that's when um, Ghost was like, you know what, well, let's abort, abort. And Tommy like, hell no, nah, fuck that bitch. We ain't aborting shit. Hell no, nah, we not. Because, you know, of course, that's when Lobo's doing his old Lobo's fashion, singing, talking shit, talking about betrayal and all of this shit. Then go tell Tommy, talking about, I will sit up here and basically eliminate your bloodline. And I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, baby, Tommy done already did that when he did that shit to Ali. That baby been gone. So what you talking about? He ain't got shit to lose, Lobo's. He go, um, you know, he mourning. Anyways, so after that, um, the whole thing when uh, Ghost went to call it off because of Angela's safety, that's when Ghost, not Ghost, but Lobo springs up um, Holly to Tommy. And Holly, not Tom, not Holly, but Tommy looking like, nigga, I done already did that shit. So really, whatever, nigga, let's keep it moving. So, of course, they walk into this whole burial site. And I was like, Lord Jesus, Knox is going off back at the precinct or whatever. You know, I call it the precinct, but the FBI people. He going to fuck off talking about there's a mole in the damn precinct. There's a mole in the team. Somebody knew about this. Mike trying to calm him down and get this doctor on him he getting pissed off at the doctor maybe he touching the wound too hard i understand but he is upset he's like somebody knew this is a setup lock the building down mike like hell no we ain't finna be putting people in a panic over you know a leak we need to see what it is but you know he's trying to play it off then that's when he gets a little phone call so he's trying to leave angela reports that you know what they found a getaway car and another dead body aka what ghost did so that's when mike says i am gonna go make the call lo and behold it was hugo you know what i'm saying but before mike and hugo talk angela tells Basically, Knox said, I'm glad you're okay, you know what I'm saying? And then Hugo and Mike talking, and Mike, not Mike, but Hugo's upset, like, where's Lobos? And Mike, like, what the hell, what you mean, what, what you mean, where Lobos? Like, he ain't here. So he's like, all right, I'm going to handle it. He know he's scared because his daughter and him is basically hanging in the balance. So we're going to see how that goes, I guess. But figure it out, Mike, figure it out. Anyways, goes to Tommy, still talking to Lobos. They take Lobos to the damn hole, and Lobos is like, I ain't cool with these accommodations. You know, I ain't saying it verbatim, but he basically says some shit like that, and I'm like, Lobos. You can't be fancy where you're going to die, but I understand. But your crazy ass, but whatever. After that or whatever, um, Lobos is talking more shit or whatever. And then that's when the phone rings and they all panic. And like Tommy and Ghost like, what up, where the phone at? So they get the phone. Tommy's like, we got to abort because, you know, there's towers here. But Ghost's like, hell, not just back, fuck up the phone. And then that's when they ask, who was that? And that's when uh, Lobos is like, I don't know now. Like, we'll never know. Shit, you fucked up the phone. I was like, well, that is true. So then um, they go back and forth and arguing and stuff about basically now they're going to trace it back. We need to basically come up with a different plan. While they arguing, Lobos runs off. So now they running off after Lobos. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, y'all done got Lobos. Or should I say y'all let Lobos slip away? So we're going to see. Tommy and Lobos, um, fucking Tommy Lobos and Ghost, all in the woods, of course. That's when Lobos rolls up on Ghost, hits him with this damn wood. And I thought that, you know, Lobos ain't no punk. Lobos got Tommy good and was about to, I was like, okay. Not Tommy, but Ghost. Ghost turned his ass around, you know, of course, got on top of him in Ghost fashion, whatever. And that's when uh, Tommy yells out, don't kill him because he don't worry about disposing the body. But Lobos was like, shit, I ain't surprised. I would do it too. I was like, oh, shit, wait, let me make sure that's what he said. If I'm not surprised, I would do it too. Did he say that? Yep, he said I would do the same. And that's when Tommy was like, don't, man, about, you know, don't bring it up. No, not don't bring it up, but don't kill him because of the body. Ghost was like, nah, let's put this shit to the end and shot him twice in the chest. I was like, damn, okay. Okay, I was like, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, Lobo's ass is dead. And then, you know, Tommy's like, what are we going to do with the body? And Ghost is like, fuck it, it's finished. Let the uh, vultures have it. I was like, Lord. Tommy and Ghost in the bag getting dressed all whatever, talking about Dean or whatever. Ghost wants to get rid of Dean, but he's like, I might have to keep him around. And we see Tommy is still in distraught. He's upset about this whole thing. Still, he's in mourning for Holly or whatever. Ghost is like, it's over. We can get back to us. We can live a regular life. And Tommy like, shit, it may be over for you. You can start over. You know, maybe over for you. And you can start, but I ain't got shit. Like, Holly gone. I ain't got nobody. Go somewhere. Like, you get a better girl, you know, a better girl than Holly. And he was like, man, can't nobody replace Holly. He's still mourning. He's still in love. So he walks off. But before he walks off, Ghost like, you know, I'm sorry about Holly. He's like, it's all right. It's cool. Yeah, all right. Then that's what Tommy asked. We see he's mourning. Like I said, goes to where he uh, where they buried uh, Holly's body. And my thing is, did he just carry him, put in the hole, and Ghost just, you know, put the dirt over or what? Because he knew, man. He was like, well, I brought your ring back. And I was like, oof. Heart kind of, you know, cringe for Tommy. I'm like, babe, it's going to be okay. That bitch ain't love you. That bitch ain't deserve you. But you know what I'm saying? It's okay. Tommy ass, not Tommy, but Tasha ass is sitting there waiting for Ghost to come back or whatever. And, you know, she's like, I did my part. I did what I was supposed to do. You know, it's all this shit done or whatever. Then she's like, you know, mama is pissed off because Tyreek done tried to sneak out and done. And she done, not she, but he done went off on mama or whatever. And this shit is some bullshit. I should have been there and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because Ghost first thought it was about him. And Tasha was like, no, I should have been there. But I'm here helping your ass. I'm here trying to help fix this shit with you. You know, your bullshit, you know. And that's when Ghost go off talking about, man, look. I, look. He gonna be all right, you know what I'm saying? He gonna be all right. It is what it is. I was like, uh, uh, ghost, don't be like that, cause you know. Of course, Tasha going off about Angela, talking about how she texting him too much and she in love with him and all of this shit. But basically, you know, she's still pissed, but she got every right to be. It is what it is. Ghost talking, about, I need to call Angela. We don't go to bed without talking to the nigga. Bye. They had this little cutesy talk, or whatever, right in front of Tasha. Girl, you better than me. Talking about I love her, and as soon as he hangs with the phone, that's when, of course, Tasha goes the hell off. My thing is, go ahead, Tasha, cause Tasha that bottom bitch. Like, I'm trying to get this money, too. That's when she goes off talking about it's always about you, always about putting the plan together, always making sure that you good. All, like, you don't think about nobody but yourself, in a sense. And I, I don't blame her. Then she brings up the whole thing about the separation papers and the prenup, talking about you already stated, or well, we already stated in the prenup, if we divorce, I get half. Do you really want to go down that road? Because I'll take it all. My thing is, does she mean his half or the whole thing? You know what I'm saying? Or just all of her half. I don't know. We shall see. But she's like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't give a fuck about this bullshit. You know what? I done already signed them. I'm done with your ass. And then at the end of the day, too, let me add you with this. I want separate cars to go back to the airport. I don't even want to ride with your ass. This nigga's like, I'm trying to do this to help us and the family and shit. Tasha don't want to hear that bullshit. He gonna try to get in the bed. She said, uh-uh, where you sleeping at? I know that's right. Sit his ass on the couch. Fuck him. Shit, I ain't mad at him. Whatever. Um, Tasha and um, the next morning, Tasha and Ghost meet the Bassett Howe family, whatever. Tasha like, I gotta go. I gotta take care of the kids. She just don't want to be around them. And, you know, Ghost played it off real cute and was like, all right, I'll see you when you get back. And she was like, goodbye, Ghost. And you could tell how she said that she done with his ass. And it hurt him, but he had to straighten up that face <clears throat> and get back to business as usual. So we shall see with all of that. Knox and Sax are talking. Knox think that Angela has something to do with the whole thing with the rescue with uh, Lobos or whatever. And Sax like, man, I don't think so because she was trembling. She was upset and she was very worried about you. And Sax like, you know, he probably got a little hard like, oh, really? He was like, man, she was balling like a baby. But you know, you can use this for your advantage and get you some pussy finally. Not from Angela maybe, but you know, for somebody. I was like, oh, Lord. Dean coming into the office. This is my favorite part. Dean comes into Ghost's office. Ghost is putting up the gun. So, Ghost went to basically tell Dean, I don't want you working with me no more. You don't need to be around me. I don't want to do all this. Dean like, but my nigga, I saved your life, which I understand. But Dean, he done with your ass. But that's when Dean brings up the golden, golden statement. You killed Lobos, didn't you? Ghost got shocked. I was like, oh, shit, wait a minute. And that's when it comes out. Dean ass starts speaking his, basically, his foreign language tells old dude that the gun is in the damn safe. And Ghost looking like, what the hell? What what's language you speaking? What is this? And then that's when basically it all comes out. Dean as his real name is Milan. He works with the Vladimir crew. He's um Sardanian. I hope I said it right. And basically now his ass is calling the shots. He sits up there and tells Ghost, because Ghost's ass is basically scared shit. He tells his ass to sit. He's like, you know what? You were so worried about motherfucking me, Lobos, but you didn't even see me. Basically, I was working underneath your nose. I know about your family. I know about Angela. I will get them all, but you're going to have to work with me. You owe me. I saved your life. I was like, oh, shit. He was like, even if, and even, that's when Milan even went on to say, even if you do kill me, my organization doesn't stop with me. So Ghost's ass now back in business. He's like, I don't have no connections. I don't have nothing. So I'm like, oh, you know how to get my drugs. 
drugs. You know how to do what to do. So you better call Tommy and tell him it's time to get back to work. I was like, oh, shit. So now ghost, ghost, no more Tommy. I mean, not no more Tommy. No more James St. Patrick. It's all ghost now. See, you was worried about Lobo so much. Got your ass caught by somebody bigger. This never ends. Good one. Good twist. He goes and tells Tommy. Tommy, like, what the fuck? You mean to tell me he's been working as your security and we didn't even see this? Like, what the hell? Like, you done killed Vlad? He said, he don't give a shit about Vladimir. We got to go back to work and sell drugs. Tell me, but you gave that life up, but I'm back. I ain't got nothing else to do because he know my family. He know my personal life. Angela, like, I got to do what I got to do. I owe him. We got to basically pay our debt. Tommy, like, man, I just killed Lobos. I ain't emotionally prepared to kill somebody else. What the hell? My bitch still gone. I'm still mourning. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? I done killed her, too. He's like, man. He was like, well, we going to kill Vlad. Um, Milan, this is what Ghost saying. Somebody, how are we going to kill him? We don't know how he works. He don't know his organization. This nigga worked as your security and you didn't even see him. So how are we going to kill him? You need to think better than that, Ghost. Like, you tripping. So then that's when, you know, Tommy basically put it out there. Like, you're going to have to do what you got to do or you're going to come after everybody that you love. You know, now Tasha and the kids, they good. Tasha got that on grill lot. But Angela, he know Angela your soft spot. So he's going to come after her. So you have to do what he got to do. Before he gets to her, you have to cut her loose. Because if he gets to her... Lord, I wouldn't even wish that on Angela because with Vladimir, if what he said is true, what he talking about Milan, Angela ain't got no chance she's fucked. Ghost like, all right, I'm going to handle it. I was like, damn. Ghost goes to Angela and basically says, or he tries to use the whole, no, he not tries. He did use the excuse of Tyreek running away and the whole effect of the family of them being together to break it off of Angela. And Angela's ass is just heartbroken. She's saying, you love me. You know I would do this for you and all that stuff. But James know what he got to do to protect her. You know, it's all about about. Not about, but it's all a part of the game. Like, you try to get away from James, but your past gonna always haunt you with the shit you're doing. I'm just saying. And we thought Bassett Hound was something. Dean was the real deal. So I'm ready to see this. And he breaks it off of her, walks away, and she busts out crying. And James done bust out crying, too. You could tell he was hurt. I was like, damn, I kind of felt something right there for him, you know? I kind of felt something right there. But, you know, he got to do what he got to do. He shook it off like, all right, now let's get back to business. I was like, damn. Good twist plot. Now is Milan and 50. Fucking with ghosts now. Ooh, and Angela gone too. They over with. I'm just saying. I didn't know it was going to end like that. But, oh, man, it's going to be some good shit. So, anyways, y'all, that's the end of my review. I'm in sync. That's M-I-Z-Z, not M-I-S-S. Like I said, this power episode was the shit. I like this. So, anyways, the channel is Natural Pose Sister TV. And y'all have a blessed one. Deuces. Off the work. Bye.